Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be taking on the using blank art supplies. I've been seeing this challenge going around for a little while now and I've watched some people do it. But I figured it was about time that I went ahead and tried it out myself. The color that my peeps over on Instagram helped me choose was blue. Which I was actually pretty excited about. I will probably do other colors too in the near future, so keep an eye out for that. And if you would like to tell me what you what color you would like to see me do next, go ahead and drop a comment and, or vote up in the poll in the corner of the screen. Anyway, I used a combination of Copics, watercolor gouache, which I will talk about more in a second, colored pencils, and some gel pens. I'll be using additional things like white gel pens and my Silver Fine Tech watercolors for some added details at the end. I of course started out by swatching all of my blue colors just to get an idea of which ones I would use and what I could do with them. And also how they would react on the watercolor paper that I was using. So I definitely have to talk a little bit about gouache. I've actually never used gouache until now. My mom was nice enough to let me borrow some of hers so I could try them out. I originally wasn't planning on using them for this specific piece, but since I wasn't sure how this would turn out anyway in the end, I figured why not. So I used the gouache mainly for the flowers in this piece. I have to say when I was swatching them, I didn't think I would like them, but when I was actually using them, I liked them quite a bit. I just, I just needed to be careful because they would reactivate with the water super fast, but I definitely want to invest in my own set sometime in the future. But after swatching everything, I went ahead and I jumped into thumbnailing. I honestly had no idea what I would draw, and the first thing I sketched was a mermaid, but I thought that was a little cliche in this case, so my second sketch was the one I actually ended up picking. Bluebell is what I named this piece and this brand new OC of mine. As I worked on her, I just knew she was a part of the same universe as one of my favorite girl characters, Tiger Lily. You can find her on my Instagram, I'll have a link down below. Um, but while Tiger Lily is definitely curious, outgoing, and sassy, Bluebell is definitely more reserved, quiet, and shy. I think these two balance each other out nicely, and I definitely want to draw them together now. Um, as far as coloring this piece went, I knew right away that I wanted the flowers to really stand out and be darker than my character Bluebell. So I layered a lot of pale blue and blue green colors for her, while I mainly used the dark blue gouache colors for the flowers. The flowers were honestly ugh, the most time consuming part of this piece, and I honestly just did not want to record the whole everything because I thought it was super super boring to watch. It was a lot of repetitive painting, but um, I ended up for the hair, I was really kind of confused about what I should do for that because I didn't want the hair to be dark because it would take away the flower from away from like looking at the flowers. So I ended up only adding really pale colors to her hair and left a lot of it white. I think the white also helps to make her glow against the flowers. And that's kind of the look I wanted her to have, was sort of like this glowy, ethereal kind of look. Um, once I had a lot of these base colors down, I felt like there was something missing from the piece. Um, which, usually when I start off a piece like this, I usually will ink it all with my Micron fine liners. But this time, I didn't start with that. And because I originally thought I was going to keep it with like this softer no line like hard uh, contour lines and stuff but I didn't really like that very much and also because I like as I worked on her I knew I wanted her to be a part of that same universe with Tiger Lily I wanted to draw her in the same way that I did with Tiger Lily so I took the risk and I inked her but I'm really happy that I did stick with it because I thought I honestly completely ruined the piece with that move but in the end, I think she came out really nice with the inking, and I'm glad I stuck with it. Uh, finally, I finished up the piece with some sparkly embellishments in the form of gel pens and my silver my, uh, metallic watercolor. I also slowed down the tape peeling portion since I know a lot of people really like watching that. Um, but yeah, that is the process I went through to create this piece. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing me ramble on about it. And if you would like me to do this kind of commentary again, please let me know in the comments. 
Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.